Amid the calls for investigations and defunding of Planned Parenthood over the alleged selling of body parts from aborted fetuses, there is a larger point to be made about the industry. Your political analyst Britt Hume is here with that tonight. Good evening, Britt. Hi, Brett. Whatever comes of the revelations about Planned Parenthood and its participation in the traffic in fetal body parts, those revelations will have achieved one thing. They have parted the veil of antiseptic tidiness behind which the abortion industry has for so long operated. The sight of a senior Planned Parenthood official and a doctor to boot discussing the market for fetal body parts in between bites of salad and sips of wine was stomach turning. That's because it laid bare the essentially brutal nature of abortion. Let's be blunt. Abortion involves the extraction and killing of a human life, which within a couple of weeks of pregnancy has a beating heart. Five weeks in, its hands and legs begin to grow. It is these tiny creatures, and too often ones that are far more developed, that are pulled from a mother's womb and crushed with forceps. Oh, but oh so carefully, lest body parts that could later be sold are preserved. This gruesome procedure shows the extent to which we, as a people, have been anesthetized by the estimated 55 million, 55 million abortions performed since the Supreme Court discovered a constitutional right to that procedure 42 years ago. Will we as a nation not someday come to look upon that decision and what it has done to us, not to mention the 55 million, with horror and regret? One can only